Hello everybody, welcome to another Zabbix video. This time I will talk about notifications, uh, unusual way how to get a person notified. This will not be an email, this will not be some sort of uh, mobile application. This will be a pop-up right into the Windows workstation. If you are Windows user, maybe uh, this will get you excited. So inside the user profile, inside the active user profile, where the uh, somebody is working, uh, a pop-up window will uh, come and say like uh, there is a problem with this host. Uh, let's uh, go through this uh, laboratory task and we will start our journey with the um, Zabbix agent uh, preparation. Uh, this one, like this uh, tutorial, it's also applicable if you are non Zabbix administrator. Like, I mean, if you don't have any administration permissions on your workstation, you can still follow quite everything. And uh, as long as you have some sort of Zabbix instance, uh, then you can get notifications straight into your desktop. So admin privileges on your Windows desktop is not necessary. And uh, let's start by visiting Zabbix website and downloading the agent, uh, zabbix.com. Download, uh, here is a button, Zabbix agent. Uh, Windows, I prefer LTS, also not encrypted, and here archive. So don't grab the MSI, take the archive and uh, downloading the package to my workstation. Okay, now package here is inside the downloads folder and I will just unpack, extract. And from all these files, all we need is to grab, to take this Zabbix agent D executable. I will cut this away, uh, go to the desktop, like create folder, something like my, enter and uh, put the binary here and like uh, it's quite a standalone thing uh, you can delete all the other files uh, so this is the executable and if you did not know like we can also rename it use any name I, I, I will call my notify enter and so this is executable and it's Zabbix agent uh, every Zabbix agent needs a configuration file and I have one prepared uh, already uh, this will be the configuration file putting it uh, side by side with this my notify that executable and inside the configuration file I have um, the bare minimum requirements uh, how I will use it uh, the first setting means like uh, we are shutting down the passive checks this is required in case you have already Zabbix agent installed on your workstation for some other like performance reasons and measurements. So what, what it means like uh, multiple agents can coexist and uh, this uh, other executable like my notify as as long as it does not listen on the port 10050 then great. Then like where is my Zabbix server? Uh, then like we will not use external log file but straight to log uh, and verbose everything to the console. Uh, this is required because this this whole thing is an uh, experiment uh, and uh, we will use some like dynamic messages to like push to this workstation. Uh, log remote commands, this is very, very handy. Like you can see kind of like historical data, what kind of messages uh, did uh, happen in a historical basis. And refresh active checks, this is uh, exciting in the 7.0 release when we send incremental updates to the server uh, and it's like um, I mean we are not sending but agent is receiving incremental updates and this will always like speed up to receive the message at the agent side okay so in the directory we have only the executable and configuration file and the configuration file ends with the extension txt now I need like a nice uh, quick launch uh, button to launch this kind of like service, but uh, it's, it's not really a service, it's a program which will run in the foreground. And to do so, I'm, I will create like a batch file and in the double quotes like uh, percentage uh, tilde dp0. Uh, so this means like, please locate 
uh, some file which is in the same directory where the this batch is located and I will tell like my notify.exe then minus minus config and uh, the config is uh, like uh, again like using this syntax uh, like this uh, paste and the config is called uh, from uh, from where uh, from where dot txt so I'm not using the conf extension just for uh, e mo easier editing it's txt and the remaining argument will be uh, minus minus foreground which runs in the foreground and let's click like save and save this file as start dot cmd something like that start and that's it like um, then uh, what we would do normally like if this uh, this all solution excites you then uh, we would open also like we would create a, sh a shortcut here uh, for this start executable uh, find where is like a startup uh, startup I did not prepare for this so I actually start up startup ups Okay, let's skip this step. I forgot where it's located. And um, now let's try if it's not crashing. Uh, clicking on the shortcut, click, click. And we see like agent runs in the foreground and not failing uh, too much. Uh, only like it's missing the registry inside my Zabbix instance. Uh, what we need to uh, do right now, we need to create an object for the active checks and uh, here like need to copy the uh, content over here uh, I hope it did I did copy to the clipboard let's see yes it's uh, here like my host name is called like this uh, like copying to the clipboard and uh, click uh, and uh, now creating the object inside the Zabbix instance uh, this is the object like exactly from the clipboard and the magical part is no interface is required for the active checks uh, for the host groups, let's set this call, click, and um, maybe that's everything right now, add. And just to s check if the communication works, I will create like one item, click, uh, and uh, for example, active checks, agent version, set like one day, and it should execute quite immediately, uh, version, and um, that's everything, add. And like very soon in the next 10 seconds, this item key uh, should receive the data. That's like the default behave, behavior in the 7.0. Like it will, uh, active checks will kind of pick up this instruction very fast. If you visit the historical data, click. It's already like 16 seconds ago arrived. Awesome. Now, most exciting part, like can we do remote commands on a host which is not even having an IP address that's crazy like how it's even possible but it's possible and uh, we can try out on the left side alerts scripts and let's create like a uh, message uh, to earth and uh, what we will do manual host action script script must be run on the agent and we there is a command in the windows uh, for where for a very long time a uh, message and uh, we can say like um, uh, percentage username uh, percentage and then like um, um, you are awesome uh, so this is executable executable on the windows and that is everything uh, add and uh, so now this is manual host action. If we would visit now monitoring hosts, uh, this is my object. Uh, let's check like uh, how it feels right now, uh, like this batch and everything. And uh, actually this sh this thing, let's, let's close actually this one, click and start another instance. And it should not print errors anymore because I just made this object inside the Zabbix. Click, click, uh, let's close everything, maybe uh, maximize. Uh, so 
if it's not printing any errors, it's quite connected to my instance already. And what about executing that remote command right from the instance? Let's click the button and I have like message to earth and I will try to click here and go here and oh, it's I'm awesome too fast. Uh, and that's it. Like that's how it works. Like I just use the front end, like the live console to send a message to user. Uh, so please note that right now we are simulating in foreground inside the user profile, like on the Windows. By default, Zabbix Agent runs on the behind the system user, so you cannot do this so easily. Like system user, it's it's completely different page. Uh, but right now I'm running in the foreground with a non-administrator, and uh, it says like I'm awesome. Uh, so the transportation of the message works. That's awesome. How to integrate uh, like uh, all the like real problems so it comes in the foreground. Uh, let's click here and go back here in the front end. And for the real problems, we would need alerts. Ah, ac ac first, we need to clone them uh, action. I, I mean here alerts, scripts, message to earth and uh, clone. And let's call it like a dynamic message to Earth. And instead of manual action, we switch to the action operation and message username. And I would say something like event name. Instead of my you, all, you are awesome, uh, we are sending event name as a pop up window. OK, add. Uh, so now we have two things like manual action and uh, the automated action. Uh, now the actual action must be designed. That is done under the action trigger operations. And this is my previous work, which needs to be removed. And, um, and uh, let's put here message apply. So it's empty. Great. And a message to earth and um, like op conditions, something like uh, if severity is greater than information, then what to do? Operations and uh, dynamic message to Earth. Click and um, that is everything. And now uh, what I need to do, like uh, usually most of the times while using Zabbix, we are using current host, but we don't want to do that because like you, you want to force to the message to be delivered to very, very specific workstation. Uh, and I have only one with the name desktop, uh, so I can click it here. And that probably is everything. Add. And uh, let's hope it works. So this is the message. Now to create a real uh, problem, I still use I'm still I will use simulation. Uh, we'll create like a virtual host, which will call which will be called desktop simulation, uh, and of course disco. And um, uh, I have a template. Uh, I made a video already in my channel how to simulate media type as fast as possible. Uh, that video is like offering this template, which is like blindly generating random titles. Um, and by applying this template, it will start to e quite immediately generate random titles. Uh, add. And uh, the, prob the trigger section is like, uh, it's looking when the inco incoming number is bigger than zero. And inside the items section, it's like generating random numbers here behind the input. It's like th by using JavaScript, it's generating random numbers. If we visit triggers, then voila, it's already in the problem state. And what happens if we visit desktop? Uh, nothing happens. Um, OK, it looks like a troubleshooting session here. Um, let's go here, monitoring problems and uh, looking here, uh, remote failed, uh, timeout while receiving remote command. OK, um, while preparing to this video, I did have some uh, clock sync issues. Uh, let's try to, uh, so this is the, Let's have like filter out my desktop simulation problems and close the ones over here. Update. 
and what will happen next like I'm closing the problem and that template is generating the next problem like in the very next second and here you go click okay oh, failing a little bit miserably Okay. What time? Okay. So something did happen right now. Like I, I did hit Control C. Um, yeah. One message uh, got delivered here. Three six four bigger than zero, and it is. Uh, oh, it is actually already here. Uh, the first title interesting and uh, yeah let's try to close even more close click okay finally some reliability we have nine uh, eight or, or let's see yeah it looks like yeah uh, reliability starts here uh, nine eight nine and if we uh, let, let's close even more uh, close update so this template is like generating uh, like next and next and next and let's close this one and the next number comes and we see not the red red thing anymore uh, and it's coming uh, uh, let's let's go close like few few more and then explore the agent click update now here we, we can see like how messages are piling up in the background like all these things are happening and Initially, I was thinking all these pop-up windows will like kind of uh, rise up in the front of my face and it will be a chaos. Uh, and actually, it does not do that. And it's doing better from my point of view. It's, it's stacking up, up in the pile. So we see in the background 989 bigger than zero. If I click OK, it jumps to the next problem. So you can read it <laughs> out loud, investigate and go on. And when we click OK, it just uh, jumps to the next thing. And um, yeah, that is everything I wanted to entertain you. Uh, so this is uh, quite an exciting thing. Uh, please keep in mind, like what we are doing here is uh, we are running agent on the Windows workstation in the foreground. The agent does not need any administrator privileges. Uh, it's not even writing a log file. Uh, it's writing the output in the like, console. And uh, it's using only active checks, like the how the communication happens, like agent communicates with the uh, server and uh, kind of like it, it does not do the monitoring, like it does not pick up the data from the workstation. It's just like uh, sending the requests uh, to the server and uh, like asking what I need to do with this workstation. And in the 7.0 version exclusively, we have a new functionality. We can run remote commands with through the active checks. So this is exclusive to the 7.0 and of course 7.2. And uh, almost like this video suits the, the use case. It, it shows the capabilities like Without uh, an IP address on a host object on inside the Zabbix, we can still execute something and uh, like uh, cl clearly a pop-up windows um, pop-up window shows up in, in the front of your eyes. Okay, if you find it, this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and thanks for watching.